Hello, this is Doug Walker, and with me is my good pal and Indian friend. Yes, I'm very Indian. <laughs> uh, Bargo, How's it going? This is Bargo uh, Shonam Raj. Yes, Shonam Raj. This is the Bargo. The Bargo. We'll just call him the Bargo. We're going to talk about Teddy Ruxpin here uh, because Bargo actually helped me film this, and we actually tried doing this a few months earlier. You remember? We, I, I think it was like five months earlier. We were trying to film it, but uh, Teddy broke. And he yes. kept he kept eating the tapes, so uh, so we just kind of postponed it. It turned out really good because this turned out uh, to be a Halloween special, which is really great. And we worked really long this. We did it all in one night, yeah. and uh, I think three in the morning. Is that right? No, four. Four in the morning. Yeah. No, and it was funny too because I remember like you were you were just going in and out of consciousness. Oh yeah, just... I, this was the worst film ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, this is this is just the worst time ever that I've ever had filming anything. <laughs> no, for real, because I was I was hungry, I was tired, and I was sick. Uh, I had a and I throat. tortured the fuck out of you. It was and uh, yeah, this was just I was I remember like Doug, if you want to fucking do this, let's do it. And you're just like okay. <laughs> <laughs> and there are a lot of times there are a lot of times too where you know I was debating whether or not you know should we just like call it a night you would just stop here and do another time if you ever attempt to do that don't just do it you know young filmmakers out there just do it in one night because it'll be hell that night but good god you'll really uh you'll feel much better about it the next next morning uh getting it all done now the funny thing I, do you actually find the scary bargo this video um certain parts i find it creepy a lot of people actually find it scary and i, I don't know if i actually find it scary i, I do find it kind of creepy um I, everything that's taken from it, it's not because a lot of people are like, is this taking off The Simpsons? Is this taking off the, you know, Chucky or the Twilight Zone? I, I guess it's all that stuff, really. Um, you know, it's just kind of poking fun at, um, a little bit. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just poking fun of all those, you know, Doll Comes to Life, all those really cheesy, you know, s slasher movies that I never found scary, but I guess a lot of people do, so maybe that's why this worked. Yeah, th this is in that, I guess, uh, horror torture porn uh, type category, I guess. If, if, I don't even know if that's what it's called. Probably not. Probably not. I don't think. <laughs> but, Teddy but, doesn't strip in this, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, right, right. There's no bondage. Uh, but <laughs> Oh, and but, the thing here, remember that we tried to do... We tried to put the Y on the mirror, but it, I, the blood wouldn't stick, and you could see right through it. Cause oh, yeah, that's it's right. Ketchup. It kept smearing down. Yeah, so I felt really bad about that. But, yeah, we started, I think, 7 p.m. and went to 4 a.m. So that's some, that's almost like eight hours, I mean. It was, uh... And there's a few times you're... Oh, actually, this shot. You love this shot. That's where you get to kick me in the nads, pretty much. Yeah, there's a lot of, um... Ball humor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and actually, we cut right before I fall back and start laughing, remember? <laughs> I just shot. <laughs> Look at me, I'm having so much fun. Yeah, this part, uh, definitely not scary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if a bear, can, if a bear was see, going after your nads, you think it was scary. I, I okay. think some people would definitely, yeah, that's just terrifying. Anytime there's a shot like that, where you just see Teddy looking with those eyes, that, that always, uh... That, that gets a little creep value. Oh, yeah, I remember this shot, we had to time it just right. Because I kept going, like you almost bumped into me yeah, a couple right. of times. Or you would come out too early and you'd just look like a jackass. And you know, <laughs> we should talk about the lighting because you were going nuts about the lighting because I kept moving the blue light around. You kept saying, no, it has to come from one source. The people will spot it and see you as a fraud. <laughs> and of course, nobody does. Nobody cares. Yeah, <laughs> But you were so I, convinced. I was, yeah, I put up a fight for about 10 minutes and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna film this thing tonight. We're gonna need to be a team. So, that <laughs> and that works. the way I did that, there's actually my fingers on the other side holding that. So that's how that that knife effect was done. You actually do a really good job. I mean, you're you're very good at pretty much just doing exactly what I told you to do. <laughs> to be honest, I was just like, film this. It makes no sense, Douglas, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew I knew what the it, it all comes together in the editing. Right, so that's where... Uh, yeah, that's true. You have to put a lot of trust in the person because you literally have no idea what it's going to look like until it's uh, edited. Although the funny thing is that... Um, actually, a lot of these toys we did destroy. <laughs> Grubby is destroyed. One of the uh, teddies is destroyed. <laughs> now, we, we, yeah, we have... Oh, yeah, you have to throw that caterpillar out that, there. That, uh, what is that thing called? Grubby. Oh, Grubby. and I actually hit my toe with the bat. It's in one of the outtakes, but I actually hit it and... God, did it hurt. 
that scene where uh, Grubby uh, like bites his leg, uh, I was actually moving that, and I just moved it and I shoved it away so that it was my hand was off camera. And do you remember it now? This shows you just how late we were up because Bargo, I, it, two of these shots. Uh, you know, we're gonna, we're, like, we're, is where Teddy attacks me, you know, he flies onto me, and I just use my hand to fling him onto me, and remember I told you, I was just like, are you sure my hand is out of the shot? You're like, yeah, yeah, it's out of the shot. And I look at it back, and it's like, you can see, like, everything. You can see me just holding this bear, so it looks like I'm just slamming a bear against my face. And obviously, I think you were just up so late. <laughs> it didn't register. This well, is the I... other one, when I punch him. I, I said, you sure you can't see my face? And you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the shot, you can clearly see I'm just sitting down with it, holding it and punching it. So, but, but you did good, jackass. <laughs> I'm so mean to you, I apologize. You're a bastard. But, uh... <laughs> but, yeah. but, but we made something good here. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, actually. The, the, one, the one downside is that it, that really looks like a strobe light, because it is. And that's my fault, because I thought... I just told Bargo to leave it on, because the camera only catches some of the flashes. And I just assumed that would catch every other flash, it wouldn't be a big deal, but it totally looks like a strobe light. Oh, and the big thing with the Teddy Ruxpins is that we actually shot this in order. <laughs> I love that. And, um... This was made up on the fly, this whole little uh, flying back to the head. Yeah, we didn't and know this how next we shot, this. this right here reminds me of the monolith from 2001. <laughs> just, I just wish that it, you could just hear, like, the ladies, like, Ooh! You know, it's, it's, <laughs> I should have used that music, actually. That yeah. Oh, and you came up with this idea uh, to have him, because originally we were just going to have him pointing the gun at me from my point of view, but we couldn't figure out how to do it, so you had the idea that it goes in my mouth. Yeah. And, and, and then you just saw this shot. This shot, which like the best shot in the whole thing, was pretty much you. You just looked at the camera and said, all right, just stand still. That looks perfect. Yeah, this is just like we, we ran out of things to do, and it's just like, oh, well, how are we going to put this together? So it was just, uh, you know, you did uh, an ellipse and then boom, cut to this moment. And then what, what I was trying to get to is that, uh, um, is that we actually had two Teddy Ruxpins. We had one that could talk, so that one we don't use for the talking scenes. Then we had another one that was a stunt bear that we cut back out. And I guess for. you green screened the bear and then... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> and there's a little face in there, I just found it, because originally that was... Now, if you can tell here, I, I actually got a haircut. My sideburns are really, really short the next day, so nobody ever notices that. But uh, if you compare it to the night before, it's actually a lot shorter. So That's actually my brother's idea to put the uh, the devil's face in there, I think. Well, it, it makes you seem different, which is good. I think it adds to the effect. Yeah, it's true. It's supposed to be afterwards. So you get a haircut along with being possessed. Yeah, and, and the stunt bear's <laughs> mouth actually came off, so we had to duct tape it back together. So anytime you see the bear after that, and he's not talking, there's just duct tape in between the lips. Good times. Good times. I love you. I hate you.